Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mons and I create content revolving around sneakers, travel, and lifestyle. And for today's video, I'm going to be going through all of my August sneaker pickups. Now, I have to say that I probably spent the most on sneakers this past month out of the whole year thus far, only because there have just been so many great releases and I feel like I needed to have them in my collection. So with that being said, if these are the types of videos you enjoy, please feel free to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to be sharing my sneakers from when they released. So it's going to be starting from the beginning of August until the very end of August. And the first pair that I was able to pick up was this pair right here. So this is the Ama Manier Jordan Airship in the white black colorway. This is actually my first pair of Airships, so I'm very excited to be adding this to my collection, especially since I already have so many Jordan ones on the wall. I thought this was the perfect pair to start off, hopefully a little mini Airship collection. So this released on August 3rd, 2023 for retail price of $140. I unfortunately wasn't able to get them at retail price, but um, I ended up finding a pair in my size for a little bit above retail and I was happy with paying for it since I really, really liked the colorway. And once I got them in the mail, I was just really happy with um, my purchase. So I'll go ahead and start off with the packaging actually. So it is similar to the Jordan 1 box, if not the almost the exact same. But I will say that the difference is that you can see the Ama Manier logo kind of um, etched into the box, if you will. It's kind of like raised or a little bit so you can see it throughout the box. And I really like that little touch, like it's subtle, but you can kind of see it um, in person. So that's really nice. So some additional accessories that it does come with is, of course, it has the airship booklet, of course, and it does come with two additional laces in addition to the ones that are already on the shoe. So it does come with a pair of black laces and a pair of aged laces as well. And uh, this is really cute too. It actually comes with the Ama Manier logo keychain, which I thought was a really nice touch. I haven't decided what I wanna put it on yet, but I thought it's really nice to have. So, you know, I love little accessories that come with the sneakers as well. And I'll go ahead and get to the actual sneakers. So here they are. I'll go ahead and do one at a time for usual or per usual, I'm sorry. So they're really beautiful. They're very subtle and simple, but I think that's why I really like them. And I really like the you know vintage look that they incorporated into the pair. So this one actually has a white leather upper with some black leather accents. I think they did a really good job with putting it all together and the materials feel really premium for me. So some details that I did want to highlight on the pair here on the heel, you'll see that they have the Ama Manier logo and Nike Air there. And then in the inside of the insole, it's about the same. So it has 365, if you can see that, there we go. 365 with the Jumpman logo. And then the tongue itself is kind of aged. So it kind of has this kind of like light peachy undertone to um, continue on with that vintage look. And if you look closely, you'll see here in the midsole that it definitely has that vintage aged effect. And in addition, the tongue tag also has Ama Manier logo there in addition to the Nike Air. So overall, I really love this. And for those who aren't familiar also with this particular release, um, this is kind of based on one of their 12 main principles, which is understand the why. And if you do own Ama Manier collab, collab sneakers, then you know that they're really great about storytelling and really just um, giving a lot of meaning to their sneaker releases. So this is definitely um, one of those pairs that really exemplifies that. So yeah, there's this one right here. Moving on to the second pair of sneakers that I was able to get, it happens to be this one. So this is the Aritzia and Asics Jalcano 14 collab, and this is in the white black colorway. This one released on August 10, 2023 for a retail price of $160. Now I was able to get this online. Um, I thought I would be late when they actually released, but luckily when I had checked in the, um, later in the evening, they actually still had some sizes available, so I was able to snag it. I did get it in my size in a size six and a half, which which fits perfectly for me, uh, true to size, I would like to say. Um, and this actually happens to be probably my favorite pair out of the bunch that I've been able to get for the month. And um, I will explain why, but let's go ahead and go through the packaging first. So it comes in this really beautiful green box. It has that um, Asics and Aritzia branding on the front. 
and then you can see it here on the sides as well on the box. Now when you open it up, um, you still have that A6 Eritrea branding as well. And for the additional, it does come with additional laces. So it comes in these round cream laces to, um, to complement the cream accents that you'll see on the sneaker. So that's the box, very simple, but I really love the green that they used here. So let's go ahead and go through the details of the sneaker. So you can see that it is a white mesh upper and includes some cream and pearl accents, which I absolutely love. I feel like this totally screams me if you know me, like I love neutral and creams and this is just the perfect shoe for me. And aside from the white cream and pearl accents, you'll see the A6 stripes in black, um, which is a nice contrast to the shoe in itself. Now this is actually my first pair of ASICs um, or ASICs gel Kayana since I have gel light threes. And I'm really impressed by this. When I used to work for Foot Locker, I actually sold this pair a lot to the customers that I had who were runners. And for whatever reason, I never got around to trying them out since I don't run or anything. But I think this is just such a great walking shoe and a great errand shoe. I have been reaching for this pair constantly ever since I got it and only because it's such a great neutral shoe and extremely comfortable. I would say that this may be even like my next um, travel shoe whenever I typically, uh, whenever, you know, I have to go um, for work trips or even just travel trips. So I'm very excited to use these ones. But in addition to this color, it actually comes in two other colors. I believe it comes in like a green and a white. It's called, I think, Leprechaun. And then the other one is more of a all over silver, if you will. And I think that one's called Blanc de Blanc. But I will make sure to include some of the additional colors in case you were curious to know what the other colors were for this collaboration. So yeah, uh, I honestly have no other words for this pair. But um, I'm really excited to have a pair of gel Kayanos in my collection and hopefully this won't be the last. I'm looking to see um, if there are going to be more collaborations, I hope, with some more colors so that I can even add more comfortable shoes to my collection. So there's the second pair. Now the next pair that I'm going to share with you all is a very, very special pair for the month of August and it is this one right here. This is the Kobe 8 Pro Tro in the Halo colorway. Now this Halo concept was put together as a way to honor Kobe's birthday, which was on August 23rd, which also happened to be the release date for this particular pair of shoes. And I believe these are meant to be an annual release, so we will be seeing them more in the future. Now let's go ahead and go through the packaging really quick. So we have an all black box with um, some texture on it all throughout the box. And in addition, we have Kobe's logo on the top of the box in addition to his signature. Now for the shoes, they are in this all white. Um, it is so beautiful. It's an all white engineered mesh upper. And then we also have a couple of details that I absolutely love on them. So the first being uh, Kobe signature here etched on the external heel and if you look really really closely and I didn't see this originally in the photos that I had seen of them but you'll see Kobe's logo um, kind of just like etched through the midsole here which I think is a really nice touch. We also have his logo on the tongue itself and on the insole so I'll go ahead and give a quick look for that as well like that and of course it has you know like the matching Nike swoosh branding all throughout the pair. Now, I'm pretty sure now that you've seen the third pair of shoes that I picked up, you'll see kind of a color scheme going, but I feel like even though they were all very similar in color, they all were are very different and tell different stories, of course. So I was really excited to be able to add this to my collection. And yeah, let me know if you were able to pick this pair up, are you gonna hoop in them? Or are you gonna keep them you know, displayed in a box? Or are you just gonna wear them casually? I would love to know if you happen to pick up this pair or if you're looking to pick up this pair. I think it's something that is so beautiful and um, hopefully everyone who's a big Kobe fan or would love to have this pair in their collection are able to get it. So yeah, that's the third pair. We are officially more than halfway through my sneaker pickups for the month of August and coming in at number four is going to be this pair right here. So this is going to be the Union and Beffy's Beauty Supply Air Jordan 1 collaboration. And this is part of the Summer of 96 capsule collection, which happens to be when Chris Gibbs and Beth Gibbs officially met. So I think that's really cool that they based this whole collection on how they're on their love and how they met. So I think that's very, very special. So let's go ahead and go through the sneaker box right quick. So this released on August 24, 2023 for retail of $200. And like I mentioned, this collection is called the Summer of 96 collection. And 
the packaging just does not fail to impress. It is so beautiful. And then if you open it up, it has 96 there. I love how this pair turned out. I was a little, I guess, skeptical on if I really wanted this pair, especially since when I saw the photos, I wasn't really sold on the woven detailing of it. But now that I see it in person, I think they're really beautiful. And I think the colors um, really match together really nicely. So I'll go ahead and do a 360 of this guy right here. So Chris Gibbs and Beth Gibbs have an Afro-Caribbean heritage. So they did mention in their behind the design video that they wanted to incorporate a lot of that into the sneaker, which I think is so cool. Something that I for sure have never seen. And of course the um, light gray colors look really great. And I love that they use kind of like this, um, I would say more of an aqua teal stitching right here which is super, super nice. And it does come with that multicolored lace. So it has cream here with the light gray at the top. And yeah, I, I absolutely love this pair. It really surprised me when I finally got them in hand. So I'm super, super excited to have this in my collection and I can't wait to wear it out. All right, friends. So we are at the fifth and final sneaker pickup of August. And it is this pair right here. Now, this is a pair that I never thought that I would have. And it is the Oregon Ducks Dunk Low PE. I never thought I would have a player edition pair in my collection. And so I feel really, really blessed that I was able to pick these up. Now, this is a collaboration between Tinker Hatfield, Division Street, and Goat. So these were exclusively released on Go. These actually originally came out on April 10th, 2023, and they happened to do a restock this past Friday, August 25th. So uh, my husband was actually able to snag me a pair. So I'm really, really excited to add this to my collection. And let's go ahead and go through the packaging really quick. So it's mostly like the Oregon Ducks green and yellow black. And we have the Nike branding on top, Oregon Ducks here at the edge of the top of the box and then limited on the side. Then we also have the Oregon Ducks mascot on the inside. Now it does come with some additional laces, which is this white one right here. It is attached to the sneakers. I think this one's really nice, honestly, because even though it's mostly like the two-tone gray with the neon green piping, I think this would be a nice contrast to match the white Nike swoosh. Now let's go ahead and do a quick 360 for this one. I actually don't have very many dunks, so I'm really glad when I'm able to kind of add more exclusive ones to my collection. This is, uh, so this one kind of has like that two-tone um, light gray and then the neon green piping. So some notable details that I really like, you'll see that it has the Oregon Ducks mascot there on the tongue tag. And then on the back, it has that Oregon logo stitched in white, which is really, really nice. On the insoles, they are a little bit different, so it has that... Oregon logo there on that one and then for this one it says ducks of a feather so some really really cute details and I love that it's loud and still neutral at the same time so I think they're also very wearable and yeah I'm really excited to style these and have them in my collection so that is going to be the fifth and final pair of my sneaker pickups. All right, I feel like I'm gonna need to take a break from some sneaker purchasing for a while. I'm saying that right now, but watch, I'm probably gonna have another sneaker pickups video um, depending on what other things release for the rest of the year. But I hope you all really enjoyed that. I really love sharing these sneaker pickups with you all. So let me know which one happens to be your favorite or what other sneakers you're looking to add to your collection. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, this has been Mons. Bye.